Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Sam Vlogs channel. Welcome back to the third video of the 2020 or whatever. So this time we, are, I'm starting to build the Gundam Mud Rock first. As I previously stated, this one was like my childhood memory, so I must do it first. So Mud Rock. So you know, if you don't know, it's from a PS2 game called Sionic Front. If you don't know what's called Sionic Front, go to go to go to Google, go to Yahoo, go to uh, YouTube, go to uh, Bing, go to whatever. Just search it. Okay. So it's a PS2 game, and it's actually set it on the side of the box is a playstation 2 game okay where the you can experience the world of mobile suit gundam from the standpoint as a zeon soldier the player leads a zeon ms unit during the one year war so okay enough introduction so this time the side they actually give you a little bit of description so i'm already adding a bit marks on this thing because you know usually the p bandai's things is you know very boring they have like nothing okay so i'm not gonna talk too much so i'm just gonna um, open the box and get the runner out first all right now so let's just start looking at this so i already put out all the runners so we're just gonna quickly flick through this if you don't know a little fun fact mud rock actually have finished version and not finished version okay i know it's it's called completed but i don't like it okay so i've been seeing some speculation about this mud rock when it's announced a lot of people said it would use back the g07 so the gundam uh g07 frame and what are possibly parts uh is a completely wrong is g06 is actually a completely new mode so don't use that speculation because that speculation is totally wrong okay so we're just gonna quickly flick through this so it does come with um some parts that tell you that you can finish it with the completed and incomplete version about legs as well and then for the weapons i think it's pretty cool as well uh geo 6 i think is a pretty cool it got like the cool uh, kind of weapons because I feel like it combined the RX-78 with gun cannon So I feel like the idea is pretty cool and I really like the color scheme as well So if you guys don't know uh, A couple of days ago premium mana announced that geo 4 is a premium mana as well, which means we get a geo 5 so a lot of people also speculated it's Geo 7, but I don't really believe uh, Geo 7 frames, but I don't believe it. I believe it's a completely new mode, so we'll see about that. So let's not talk too much. So, instruction manual, put it away first. So, we can look at the A runner. So, the A runner, you know, it's very colorful. There's a tenors, there's the chest piece, the you know the waist piece right here this is uh the shoulders right here the legs part and this is the backpack unit this is the waist part as well the shield um the torso 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 oh wait no that's waist and we have the beam rival and then we have the thrusters right here so this thing right here is 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 com it's complicated it's mixed with everything actually so we have two d runners so Obviously, this is the backpack thruster and some part of the legs armor. We have some part of the uh, what's that called? Shoulder, the shoulder, uh, the shoulders of the completed unit, and then we have the feet down below. We have two E runners as well. The E runners, this is for the shoulders and for the completed version legs. So that's pretty much it. That's the B one and B two runner because they are pretty much the same. So I just choose one to talk. So. B1, we can see that that's the huge shield right here. This is obviously the legs. This is the connector between the torso and the waist. This is the legs part right here, legs part. And this is the uh, feet part, the feet armor right here. This is the shoulders for the incompleted unit. This is the feet. This is, I don't know which part this is actually. This is the beam saber, of, of course. This is the beam saber on the backpack. So this is the arms the the hand the hands armor so that's pretty much it and we have the c1 and c2 so i'll just pick one to choose so c1 right here so we can see there's a lot of inner frames right here we have the hands option uh hands option we don't have much right here we only have the standard weapon holding hand so we don't have any kind of like a fist hand or open hand like that this is definitely the backpack cannon i can tell this one right here i Thing is the legs it might be the arms as well but are really hard to tell so I'm just gonna put a closer look so this is definitely the hands this is the torso piece right here this is the I don't know which part is this this is for the shield oh so it does come with a trigger hand okay so it does come with a trigger hand my mistake okay so this is this is definitely the legs part and okay this is basically the inner frames 
and then lastly we have the beam saber so it's just a very standard beam saber piece so it's nothing to you know say about it so this is the powder caps we have the sticker so the stickers right here you can see that this time the stickers is very limited but unfortunately i think the front of the waist still have this little sticker right here that you need to put it on so it's kind of sad because they did give you yellow parts and they didn't do that color separation it's pretty sad actually so next 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 we have the last thing so the you know the marking stickers so it included all the completed unit and the incompleted unit so i think that's just pretty cool so the um the sticker position will be written on the instruction menu so you just i just you know i'll just give you a quick quick look about it so it does say that where did you put it on okay so that's pretty much it so guys let's jump into the building process and i will see you guys at the review Hey guys, welcome back to the re review of the Mud Rock. So this is the finishing of it. So honestly, uh, I'm very happy about this finishing, but the only best move that the Bandai did is they put a completely new mold in Premium Bandai. I think that is a very, that is uh, very disappointing for me. So, and very disappointing on a lot of you as well, because this is a completely new mold. And I really want to say that they actually improved a lot of technology in it. And I really like it. And right now what you're seeing is just, uh, in complete mode so later i will show you how to turn it into complete mode because you can actually choose which one you want to display it's just very simple you just swap two parts and done yes i'm guaranteeing you it's just swapping two parts and you're done and you know the only thing that i want to say that i'm glad that ben i didn't say that uh complete version in complete version into two separate p and dies because i will i will definitely smash them if they if they really gonna do that because that's just such a that because that's just such a bad move okay so right now uh what you're seeing is in complete mode as i said and this gamma right here is completely new the new mode is very good and there's a lot of articulation that is went very surprising when i was posing around posing around and taking some pictures i was actually pretty i am pretty satisfied on what i got and maybe the only thing that uh if you really want me to say was what's the one letdown is this sticker right here uh you know as you can see right here there's a lot of yellow parts on the actual gun plot but they couldn't do one small piece for the for the front of the waist that is a if you really want to say uh, something disappointing i would just say that and 
you, by the way, if you if you bought this rock, you're gonna do a lot, a lot, a lot of coloring at the backpack because the backpack come in whole black that's supposed to be yellow in it. So I don't have the yellow paint, and I because I was so expecting on to see uh, what's the finishing, so I kind of skipped the painting process and then I just uh, straight got this out. So overall, I, I'm really happy about what I got and. A lot of things I want to say that the color separation is absolutely good. It's just uh, the thruster and the legs part. It's got a little bit of yellow that you need to do. And don't forget the bottom though. The bottom of the feet got a lot of detail as well. So make sure you clean that up. So anyway, let's just stop talking and then let's jump to the articulation introduction. So first, we are looking at the head. So the head, uh, I choose to put on the red sticker, but actually you can choose to put on the green sticker as well. But you know, a lot of people will say, well, I think the mud rock is green, uh, green eyes because that's what they see on the images or something like that. No, if you play Sionic Front, if you played uh, SDG Generation Overworld, oh wait, actually not Overworld, just World, SDG Generation World, the first time I saw mud rock when I, was a, when I was a little kid is actually red eyes. That's why I'm trying to create it. So, you know, the head is actually pretty good and there's... For panel lining though, I think only the side here really matters. Uh, the back, the front, uh, like the the, the uh, Falcon gun right here, I, I don't think that really matters, so it depends on you. So the head, uh, you can move 360 because there's no absolutely no interruption at all. Uh, the head can move up and down as well, so that's basically the head articulation. But one thing that you need to uh, be a little bit of careful is that this blue piece right here is actually uh is actually is actually very easy to just drop out so you need to be you but the best way you do it uh just glue it if you really don't like glue then when you post around you might need to be careful on not losing that little pieces right there so my advice is just glue it and actually a side topic uh once the head is on a red color eyes yes it's correct it's created an original feeling and it also give me a bit feeling like evil. So let's check out the torso. So the torso right here. Uh, torso, I don't think there's anything uh, you need to paint by yourself. It's basically just giving, giving every part to you. So every color on it is great. And it's a ball joint at the center as well. So you, you know, you can see some double movement right here. Even if I lift up a bit, you can see there's a little gap between the white piece and the gray piece as well. So uh, the, to the top body movement, it can move around uh, it can move 360 actually when this when all the skirt armor is not flipped up it can move 360 so i think it's pretty good for the articulation right there now let's talk about the arm so on the left shoulder is there's a marker right here on the completed shoulder there's also a marker on the left shoulder so just remember that left shoulder always got a marker so um, the arms of course can move 360 uh here's the thing they use the technology that they used on the destiny if you watch my destiny review before you know the forearm can be moved by itself as well but this time it's more stable than the than the destiny Gundam. so remember when i do the destiny review the destiny forearm i don't know i don't i don't remember which arm is it but it will constantly pop up when I try to move the forearm because uh, it's not tightened up. So this time they corrected it. This time they use a piece of armor that snapped on it. So once you snap it on, the whole piece is not going to fall apart. So you can rotate it very freely. So as you can see right here, I think that idea is absolutely great. So we got, so of course, when we move it, uh, you can, there's the movement right here is very good. It's, it's very good. Like, and then also at the top right here, you can move double so you can move the arm doubly as well so i think that idea is very cool uh but remind but i need to remind you uh, when you're moving the top of the arm right here uh it is the like the the joint is a little tight so be careful when you move it it's not gonna break but just be careful okay so the arms of course is can, is able to lift up 90 degrees as well so it's it's absolutely great so Right now, uh, I have the standard hand on it, but actually you have another option where it's a trigger hand that I currently put it on the beam rifle because I was shooting photos before. Let's talk about the lower body. So the lower body right here, right now, uh, let's just talk about like what parts you need to color to yellow. So this little 
little thruster right here this is supposed to be yellow but you know unfortunately this is the hg and the and the parts right there is pretty small as well so they can't really do anything about it so the lower part body though uh the skirt armor is a whole piece so you can't really do like separate stuff like that uh the side skirt right here the side skirt right here is movable to uh, front back as well and it can lift up on the 3d oops <laughs> if you over if you over move it it will cause some problem like that and then if we flip it to the back uh, as you can see here, there's a, there's a marking sticker here as well, but this piece right here is not movable at all. So we we just gonna skip to the skip to the part to talk about the articulation. So articulation kicking, so the whole MS kicking to the front is possible. Kicking to the side, absolutely absolutely okay. Uh, the bending angle is absolutely crazy. Look at this. This is this is literally like an ROG type articulation right there, and. It's, it's very cool though. I, I really like that. And then the bottom right here, the bottom feet right here, so we can see that uh, it's moving front and back as well. This little piece here is movable as well. So at the bottom, as I mentioned at the start, there's details right here. So please, please, please do your panel lining at the feet, okay? There's a lot of detail on the feet as well. So that's based, that's pretty much the feet because you you can't really kick to the back during that. The back skirt is completely immovable. Now let's move on to the backpack. So they, that's basically how the backpack looks like. So the backpacks, if you really, if you really saying, oh, it looks like something. So it is. A, so the G06 idea is actually combining the RX78 with gun cannon. So that's why the backpack really look like gun cannon. So the thruster right here, as I mentioned at the start, uh, you really need to do some painting if you looking for a absolute great finish. So right now here is just a plain black. So you need to put some yellow inside thrusters that's basically it and you know the one thing that i worry about when i bought this gun i was i was pretty worried about like how the cannons move but once i snap it on i found out that the, the cannon is absolutely stable and there's no problem in posing at all it's not like the it's not like the heavy gun that i reviewed before where the cannon can't even stay stay on it or something like that this one right here is completely fine I, I I can't express how much it is. So there's a beam saber on the top right here. Uh, the beam saber, you, you can just simply take it out. It's not really that hard. So just be careful when you do it. So I'll just twist it and then just pull it out. So twist it and just pull it out. So if I put it closer to the camera, you can see that you can see that uh, this part right here is already a little damaged because because uh, actually I, I must I must say that the beam saber is part, oops what's my camera doing so the beam saber part right here is actually pretty stupid as well because they use a very soft plastic so if you pull out the beam saber incorrectly it will break and you have nowhere to store your beam saber so this part right here is very thin and very fragile so please be careful when you pull out the beam saber now let's give a little introduction to the weapon so first right here we have the beam rifle the beam rifle right here it looks a bit different to the normal rifle in my opinion because this time it got more color than just gray or black so the trigger hand already attached on it because i was as i said i was doing some photo shooting uh, earlier so right right now right here you can see that the barrel of the gun is actually uh, white and there's a part right here that you need to do some coloring so there's there's supposed to be clear green on the scope right here but it doesn't provide you any stickers so you're gonna need to do some coloring this right Rifle right here, I think it looks uh, way more different than the any other rifle because usually the rifle is pretty boring. It's just a sticker plus like a whole black or whole gray thing. But this time we got a little white on it, so I, little, I really like it. And we also have two beam saber effect part. Uh, so one is curved, one is straight. The curved one, I just pour into hot water and then just bend it because I really want to shoot some photo where the gun is actually swinging the beam saber instead of just straight. So to put it onto the beam saber is pretty simple. You just stick it in like that. So that's, that's not really hard. Uh, next up, we have, lastly, we have a shield. So this shield right here is pretty simple. It's just two pieces snapping together, the white part and the and the navy part just uh, snap it together. Uh, a symbol will be a symbol will be on it. But flip it to the back. Please don't remember that. Please remember there's a lot, a lot, a lot of details in there. So make sure to do your panel link inside the shield. Don't be lazy. Show them, show them details. To snap it on, it's pretty simple. You just basically clip it on the on the arms and it's done. So it's pretty simple, and I find out it's pretty it's pretty stable as well. Even I shake the gun point, it's not gonna fall off. So I think uh, the stability of the shield this time is uh, absolutely amazing. Okay, now I'm gonna stop saying something very, uh, you know, obvious or something like that. Now I'm gonna show you the complete mode, how you're gonna switch it. So we're gonna starting with the arms first. So the arms is pretty simple. You just pull this off, pull this out, uh, clip the new shoulder in. 
done. <laughs> that's that's how easy the arms are. So the arms now you can you can say you can you can you know choose between it, but I personally like the complete version. I feel like the incomplete version is too white for me, so I don't really like it. And now I'm gonna show you on the legs. So the legs right here, I'm just gonna pull out both of the side first. So right now these two pieces is actually swappable, so you can so you can choose like which type do you want. So to put this to to put back the uh, completed set on is very simple. You just need to remember this. This plain white piece right here is always always inside the compa. So you know very easy. Clip it on, boom, done. And this very colorful piece right here is always facing outside. So that's basically how you switch around the completed mode and incompleted mode so i told you it's just two part swapping right it's very easy anyway guys this is finishing of the review thank you for watching i forgot to tell you that uh actually the completed version legs here is actually movable i forgot to tell you that and you know what i want to say that is mud rock is absolutely an amazing gunpla they like the articulation the finishing i think is absolutely amazing so you know, the only downside of it is premium Bandai, so it's very hard for like overseas buyer to buy it. So, you know, if you see a good price, go get it. Or you can go to Gentel Kids. Gentel Kids usually, Gentel Kids is doing it right now. It's shipping at April. So if you, if you really want to buy it and have fun with it, go to Gentel, go to Gentel Kids. I'll put the link at the description. Uh, you can go check it out. And then uh, I think the shipping is at April. Yes, April. So by April, you can have this awesome gambler so thank you for watching be sure to leave a like to my videos and you know comment down below subscribe to my channel and then keep up make sure to hit the little bell next to the subscribe button so you can get notified whenever i upload a new video thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next review goodbye